first speaker, and then I'm going to have Lamont come up here and take over this microphone to rock you guys right into our march. Yeah, Miguel, yeah, yeah. will you come on up here? Everybody, a warm welcome for Miguel. Yeah, yeah. Miguel. Okay. So uh, we have a lot of issues now, and uh, some of us have been aware of them for a long time. Like there's a lot of conspiracies that are are, 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 um, are labeled theories, like the 5G, the geoengineering, the <laughs> pharmaceuticals. Like all of this is a problem, yeah. and uh, there's there's not many people talking about what's the real solution. What's the real solution for all this? Like are yeah. we going to vote for another politician to tell us, oh he's, he's going to make our life better? No! no. Uh, when the no, offline info no. war, connect with your every neighbors. Every prime minister pledges allegiance to the queen, to the crown, not to us, not to the Canadians. Right. Canada is registered as a corporation. Yeah. This country, not a lot of people know that. And you can't change that by voting someone else into parliament. That's, it. That's exactly. not going to change. Yes. The only solution right. is to build the, the system from the ground up right. again. Right. You can't fix you can't fix fix a house that is that is not suitable for for living. Right. You have to build from the ground up. Yeah. There's there's one website. I'm not a founder. Uh, I don't participate so much with them, but they're the only one that I found that is speaking about a solution. They're called unifythepeople.ca. Yeah. 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 First of July. Ottawa. That's the real protest. That's the real end of all of this. Thank you. That was the goal, everybody. Freedom! 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 So on behalf of all the organizations that have gathered here today to support all of you, every single individual out there in the crowd, I'd like to take this opportunity to invite up to this microphone my favorite march leader and yours, Lamont. Yeah. Woo! Hey, thank you so much. Thank El busy. Yeah, I know. Back and we got one here so I can have all the microphones in front of my face so I can hear myself perfectly first of all like as, uh, as Kelly said thank you um, my name is Lamont and I work with uh, celebration of freedom and rights I also work with the line Canada movement and free north Patriots number one we've been here what seven weeks now yeah. Yeah. seven yeah. weeks and if Toronto doesn't wake up and see us out here I'm just really quite surprised but number one I want to really thank Vlad with his work with Hug Over Heart. Thank you so much, Vlad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And quite frankly, him and Chris Guy. I mean, listen, Chris Guy's amount of knowledge around what's going on right now is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Chris Guy. Yeah. Woo. So, what's going on in the world? A lot of you that have been here for the last seven weeks understand what's been going on, but I'll say it one more time. End the lockdown, number one. Yeah. Yeah. Open Canadian businesses, number two. Yeah. And then keep that mandatory vaccination away from me at all costs. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Just take a look at it like this. We, at least we have some really competent speakers up here right now which can tell us their personal stories. Young people that are dealing with mental health issues. Frankly, everybody dealing with mental health issues myself included thank you so much canadian businesses even if they start to roll back opening canadian businesses there are way too many rules around what's going on here yeah. Yeah. do any of you want to go back to a restaurant where you have plexiglass no. between you and your loved one no no, no. no does anybody world. want to go to a new orleans bar and talk to the bartender through plexiglass and a mask no no that's not going to be the way. No new normal! No new normal! No new normal! No new normal! Thank you. <laughs> and so, when it comes to Canadian business, mandatory vaccinations. Come on, guys. You just had a really great speaker here tell you, if you guys don't know what vaccinations do to you in the first place, it's super danger. And guess yeah. what? If you took a look at the ingredients, if anybody actually took a look at the ingredients on these packaging, you would know these are not good for you as a human at all. 
But now you're getting into other things like smart dust being put in these vaccinations. Yeah. Let's just say this. I'm going to keep the people who know more about these subjects than me. I'm going to get out of here because guess what? The first thing on my mind is today, getting us out for a march. Yeah! yeah. Good bus, filming the filmer. Chill, man. All right, Cheers. guys. So guess what? Because of what's going on, and for us to get ready for the march and stuff, we're gonna start packing up this gear. Kind of put your attention towards this big tree over there, and the other big speaker that I'm gonna be talking from, so we can get all packed up and get ready for the march. We'll see you over there in a second, okay? We're here. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. enough, is enough. enough. Oh. All right. How you doing, brother? How you doing? All right, what's up? <laughs> How you doing, Nicholas? What's up, brother? Chilling, brother. You want to talk a little bit, uh, a little bit now? A little bit. Let's do it. Sure, man. Uh, give me your. In fact, we'll get you. Actually, we'll get the house party behind you. You want the party no, or the house no, party? No, no, the party. Let's All do right, the cool, party. man. So, Nicholas, this is just an ongoing stream uh, here at the Great Canadian House Party. And what are your thoughts and what's going on? My thoughts are, well, this is my sixth week that I've been out here protesting and this thing has been going on for seven. It does have that uh, atmosphere as more of a house party kind of uh, environment. I like to think of it as this is the only place right now where freedom is allowed. And um, it's very cool that, uh, you know, even law enforcement is very respectable about it. They seem to be on our side. I'm basically out here and have been coming here for the last six weeks because I believe that the lockdowns we're seeing are not justified at all. In fact, the whole thing looks to be a hoax um, in order to attempt to control our society. Um, this is basically them pulling out all the stops, trying to implement their desired order before they know that their time is up. And myself and hundreds of other people here that come out every week are saying no. And I'm saying to Doug Ford to end the lockdown. Humpty Dumpty needs to end the lockdown right now. He needs to stop baking cakes and he needs to end the lockdown. Here, here. Cheers, brother. Cheers. You marching? Absolutely. All right, brother. We'll see you at the march. Here, yeah, right? man. Yep. Thanks for the flyer, man. No problem, really brother. Appreciate what you do. Cool, brother. Yeah. What's your name? Adam. Adam. You want to say a couple of things? Uh, just that it's nice to meet the polite patriot. You cool, got the right idea, brother. Cool. And you got you got, you got my flyer? I did. Yeah. I okay. How about you, Nicholas? Did you? Yeah. I'm getting some yeah. emails from guys. We're going. You know yeah, what? I've I'm got, getting a little antsy. So. I've got. Yeah. I've got this. Um, you got that? I checked yeah, out man. the site. I got in touch Pass with you. Yeah. Yeah. My site's down now. Netfern's took my site down, but I'm trying to get it back up. My bitchu channel, YouTube channel are up. And, uh, and Gab accounts up. So, how you doing, brother? Here, I'll hook you up with this. There's a bunch of guys that are getting a little restless, getting tired of feeling like, oh, I gotta feel sorry and guilty, whatever. And then our kids have to kill us because we have nice houses and cars. Man, fuck all that shit. We can do more about this than that. So, I'm the flyer, didn't know who gave it to me. I'm like, what is this? I gotta check this out, make sure it's not like Andy. I was like, no, he's cool. Yeah, man. It's just, it's, we've done this before with Toronto True Seekers, and uh, it worked here in Toronto. Like, we just gotta show we're cool. We can't be on some. Sheepish, how do we get away with doing illegal, stand stupid tall. shit to people? Yeah. You gotta be like, nope. Yeah. And, and stand party. tall, but don't bother people about it. Just be like, we're cool. Yeah. Well, I talk about fun stuff, fun bad. stuff. Serious stuff, serious stuff. We can be straight up and do that. You don't have to be like, uh-oh, you know? So. You know, it's the law of attraction. Fear begets fear, and then people think it's justified. They exactly. Have no, they have no choice in that one. Exactly. Our confidence is attractive like that. People Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. I think we, I think if we get along like this, like I know, you know, just as being a guy's guy myself and being some whatever, straight up with guys, nice to girls, nice to me, keep my self-respect, don't lose mine, take anybody else's, so I can always bring people up. Like, I'm not showing up, cocked up, seeing a mess for you guys to put up with, right? Yeah. And I see what's going on out there, and there's a real desire for people to kind of get out. Plus, being a brown guy, I, I, and being older, I'm not as affected by the anti-white propaganda, anti-black propaganda. Like I walked to the Black Lives Matter march after this, because I just walk in home from here to Yonan College and I stumbled into it and I was filming everything and they're not quite sure how to what to make of me, right? Because I'm I'm brown. So I don't get as affected by this. I'm not saying that to brag or anything. No. I'm just saying like we they can don't all with propaganda, right. We can all help each other see clear of this shit. 
right? We could say, no, don't make them some cuck, some mess that I have to put up with. I have to boss around or they boss me. No, no, no. We're all individuals. And when we respect each other like polite Canadians, then we can get into the background of, oh, you like Megadeth? Oh, you're a white dude? Oh, you have long hair? Oh, you have this? Oh, you like blue shirts? Oh, you like the Raptor? Like, but we're individuals first, and then our race, skin color, interests, what music we like, all that shit plays in after. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, man. It's a question of our first principles. The ideas we have in our head when we start a discussion and we don't even ask the other person's question or correct. We just go with it, you know? Yeah. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. we got to have first principles. we got to have, like, individuals, polite, patriotic, respect each other. If not, next time, maybe you're too drunk and you're a mess or maybe something else goes... Or next person, be cool. Because then you can you can still be cool. And I see that as a problem where we're all supposed to get sympathy for being victims instead of credit for making sure no one is. Right? Like I'm supposed to be, how's it going? Oh, you know, I'm just a mess. You know, it is. It's, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell happened to you? Ah, I just in style to sort of be mess. It's like, no, 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 no. You know, no, it's not. And I know with all the dudes I've dealt with and even the girls I've dealt with, like guys will do that to me. And I'll be like, don't man up. What is it? Oh, you don't want to know. Fuck you. I can at least and, hear it possibly and, help. Enough grievance mm -hmm. mongering. Let's look for solutions. Exactly. Hey, exactly. We're marching and let's not make the cops hold up the line. We helped uh, we helped shepherd them last time because we don't want the uh, cars backed up mad at us or mad at the cops for no reason. And then uh, whatever. So let's uh, let's get this done. All right. All right, folks, let's march if we're marching. Let's not hold up traffic so long. They hate us, hate the cops. Thank you. We're marching, let's march, folks. Let's not make them hold up 